is coming in into our community, is coming into our uh, Chamber of Commerce, our city. I'm the fire chaplain here in our town, and I'm in the volunteer fire department. And we also, in our fire department, had to be FEMA compliant with the Emergency, Emergency Management Institute. And uh, from my understanding, that you know, that's that's uh, that's that's countrywide that we have to do. No, it's total federalization. The preachers are secretly being federalized under the clergy response team. That, imagine secretly they took over the preachers. Uh, all the big ones five years ago, uh, and they are just training for total military takeover. Now, again, we're not saying the military itself is bad, but the people running it are using it towards an evil purpose. They're totally federalizing the police with the fusion centers. Uh, Max Kaiser comments on this. It's, it's, the, the trend is obviously getting worse, and... Um, but again, my my point is that there seems to be the idea that somehow this contributes toward a positive economic development. Like, for example, that that corporation I think is a classic example of this. The Corrections Corps of America (CCA) trades on the New York Stock Exchange. It's a private prison, and they also own all the restaurants and all the and all the hotels near the prison. So when people go to visit their relatives in prison, they stay in the hotels, they eat in the restaurants, and it's a prison complex. It's the prison industrial complex. So they're taking tyranny, they're taking uh, the, uh, and they're t taking it public. So you can publicly trade it on the exchange. When you can buy Prison Corps of America, you can buy Visa and MasterCard. They're basically in the debt slavery business. You can buy J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs. They're in the usury business. So you can buy and sell tyranny on the New York Stock Exchange every day. And that's what you can buy and sell. And people are involved in their pension accounts and their retirement accounts, and they are supporting their own prison uh, imprisonment when they are participating and buying shares in these companies. You're buying shares in your own imprisonment. Sean, anything else from Texas? I'd just like to say uh, you keep the fight up, brother, and don't stop. Um, back in the 17th century, when George Washington was our founding father here, you know, um, he didn't quit neither against the British. And we have to have some patriots stand up. Well, and, I haven't done one at one one hundredth of what George Washington did. That became physical, and I don't compare myself to that. I'm here to wake up the George Washingtons that are out there but don't know it yet. And uh, that's my job, I and mean, that's what I've always seen my mission is, to get the word out. To the people, some will listen, some will have the calling for liberty, others have the spirit of liberty beating in their hearts, some don't. And so I'm here warning people, telling people what's really happening, and then, uh, you know, those people are out there, though, that are going to be our leaders. And, and, and it's people out there listening. Not all of us are going to be a George Washington or a Thomas Jefferson or a Patrick Henry. But there were millions of people that played smaller roles in defeating that tyranny. I appreciate your call, Sean. Uh, George in Connecticut, you're on the air with Max Kaiser. Go ahead. Hi, Max. Uh, I, I just re were reminded of something. We were talking about uh, various things. But uh, one thing, we, we won the revolution not just with bullets. We won with pamphlets. How can we get a lot of this information out succinctly, put them on everywhere it possibly can be, like a bullet to, to people, then they can... Uh, take the basic information, go to uh, re reference eat more stuff, and then then they'll basically become a force uh, of calling their congressmen, calling, uh, boycotting certain uh, companies who are doing this, uh, make other people more uh, aware of this stuff, demonstrate if necessary, on and on it goes. Uh, you know, you, you, something like that. But the other thing, uh, uh, Alex, I also wanted you to uh, maybe put up those things you need that you, you don't have the capability for manpower or money that up on, on some sort of blog that we can reference uh, regularly, and maybe we can set up groups and organizations that can do that for you off, off site. Well, look, I mean, I don't, I don't even need to direct everybody. I mean, people want to go confront BP, who's outside their jurisdiction, telling media they can't be on the beach. What if 10,000 Americans, instead of this big Democrat calling for 100,000 people to, to go be violent, that's exactly what we don't want. Sounds like a provocateur to me. Paul Craig Roberts wrote about it and exposed it last week. Uh, what if uh, what if 10,000 people went with video cameras and had live links to Justin TV? They have an Apple iPhone app, or even if they take your phone or camera, 
it's uploading live. What if 10,000 people, you know, randomly pick different towns on the beach to go out there and confront these goons peacefully? That would, in the info war, expose them. I mean, you know, uh, I'm thinking about going to the Gulf. It's going to be going on for a long time, folks. I'm really worried about Iran right now. I'm worried about a lot of other issues. And I feel like I can do more here having guests on and things. But, you know, everybody go there. And, and, and it won't be one magic video that exposes the Gulf. It'll be thousands of videos together. Max Kaiser, great job. Always wonderful to have you on. Your maiden voyage of a Genesis radio broadcast, 9 a.m. Saturday here on Genesis. God bless you, buddy. Good to hear from you. All right, Alex.